Okay, we got our two products here. Um, we got the tripod and the lens. We're going to be going through the tripod um, first, and then we're going to actually be using the tripod to help film the rest of the review. Okay, so the Gorillapod, um, picked this up at Walmart. It was like 19 bucks. Um, it's not too bad. I was able to open it up because they have these uh, resealable boxes, and I was surprised at how sturdy it actually seems to be. Um, the legs seem to be really good and strong, and the uh, mounting mechanism is um, also quite strong. So I'll just pop this out. You can see it. It's already wrapped around a little uh, piece of cardboard as the display. And in the back we can see the stats here. Um, just tells you about the locking ring, the slim attachment, um, the capacity. It says uh, up to 11 and a half ounce cameras, um, which is pretty light for a camera. Most camcorders and uh, um, anything much bigger than a point and shoot is going to be um, pretty close to 11 and a half. But it does seem quite a bit sturdier than it needs to be for that size. Um, they also have ones for larger cameras that are heavier and uh, here they just have some shots of the different ways you can use it. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, pop this out. So here we have the uh, actual mechanism that mounts to the camera and the legs. Okay, and here it has a mechanism, of course it's black, and of course the camera doesn't like to uh, display black very well, so it's probably kind of hard to see. There's a little ring right here that slides around to either a locked or unlocked position. Currently it's unlocked, and you can slide it back over to locked, and the way you open it, um, or rather have the camera released is this little plastic slide with the screw comes out. So you put it in the unlock position, press the button in, and then this just slides right out. And then you can screw this into the base of your camera, and then that little tab will allow you to lock it into the um, tripod. So you can just pop that back in there clicks in nice and good, and then you can put it into the lock position so that it doesn't accidentally pop out when you bump the button. Okay, so let's uh, get that set up and get some shots of it with the uh, other camera. Okay, we got our mounting tab off of the tripod, and we're going to install it onto the camera. It's very quick and easy. Most cameras will have a standard tripod mount. Um, you just screw the screw into the threaded hole. They usually also have like one little hole here that has like an indexing pin. This doesn't have an indexing pin, but that's just to keep the camera from um, spinning side to side when it's actually mounted. But this seems to have a, a nice rubbery finish so that once it's screwed down, it will actually uh, give a pretty good grip. And you can see that this also has a texture that will help it grip. Okay, so we're just going to pop that on there, spin it around by hand a little bit until it goes in. Okay, and the slot on this is nice and big so that you can use a, a coin or whatever that you have in your pocket, um, car key or whatever instead of actually having to use a tool to tighten it down. Um, don't want to over tighten it. That's plenty good and firm so that you can't wiggle it back and forth with finger pressure. Okay, so the way the camera is mounted with the uh, tripod mount way off to the side, that will naturally make it unstable, but luckily you can just twist the legs to whatever shape you want and uh, we made uh, the legs go farther out on that side so it's more stable. And that'll be pretty good for most needs. And you can uh, 
buttons very easily, twist and tweak it around to get whatever angle change you need, or um, even wrap it around a, a pole or something. <laughs>